Welcome to part two of our Drum and Monkey pub stopover vlog. We ended part one with a crib championship cliffhanger and I'm pleased to announce that I was victorious. If you didn't catch episode one, you can click the link above. In this video we show you what the Drum and Monkey has to offer and we also give you a full tour of the campsite. So friends have just arrived, we're gonna just sit and have a, a chinny aren't we and just uh, catch up and then we've got our table booked at the Drummer Monkey at 7.30. 7.30. Yes. Very excited about that. Massive, and we've got massive pie menu. Yeah, there, so they've got a good pie menu and we've not got too far to walk because if you can see just there. So, um, so happy days, and still no rain. Still no rain. And looks like we might even have a lot, bit of a nice sunset, Paul and Morgan. Yeah, I'm quite hungry, actually. You? <laughs> you always hungry. Oh yeah, true. But um, yeah, so we'll show you what uh, we've heard. Really good things about the drum monkey, haven't we, Paul? We have. So we will have to wait and see for well, later. I do have to say, so far we haven't seen a drum or a monkey, have we? No. So maybe later. The Drum and Monkey is situated just outside Upton upon Severn in Worcestershire. It is a Grade 2 listed building that dates all the way back to 1840. It was originally called the Rose and Crown, but the name was changed after a mix up involving a beer ration delivery during World War II, where a nearby Rose and Crown received their delivery. A swift name change ensured that this would not happen again. So this is our spot, so the drum and monkey look. And Paulie Morgan's got a big chair, look at his chair. <laughs> I, think it's, uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a chair befitting somebody in my status. <laughs> and what's your status? I'm the king of the world. King of the world. And we're right next to the, the roaring fire. So here's the... Ice wine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. OMG, Annie. So, what they're saying about the pie looks. I haven't tasted well, it yet, but. Saying, but I have to say, look at these onion rings. They're just yeah. off the chain, aren't they? Mm, my God. Mine got. They do. These are big onions, aren't they? Yeah. 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 I've got peas. Please. You have got peas, but me and Deb have got mixed vegetables, which is carrots, red cabbage and broccoli. The selection of pies was amazing, and between us we tried four different ones and they were all excellent. I know I mentioned them earlier, but the onion rings are definitely worth another mention. They were spectacular. After a great night at the Drum and Monkey, we arose the next day to some pretty miserable weather. Well, we were hoping the rain would ease up, but it's getting worse, isn't it, Paul? <laughs> Can you hear it? It's something quite nice about being in the camp when it's really howling out. Or well, maybe we're just a bit weird. <laughs> Just you? Just you. Oh, so Paul is taken to the pit. <laughs> and watching, what are you watching? I'm watching football. Oh, there's a surprise. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes, he's watching the football. So yeah, so I uh, don't think we were getting into Upton and Seven yet. But fingers crossed that it brightens up later. As the rain had got progressively worse, Instead of a walk into Upton, myself and Steve drove in and treated the girls to fish and chips. <laughs> so Paulie Morgan's throwing his chips everywhere. Where's your fish? Uh, I've only got chips. It's a good portion, isn't it? Look at that. Uh... OMG. The famous Upton upon seven chips that we had how many years ago? 
four. Was it? Four or five years ago. Yeah, and we voted to have them again. And I've never been back since. No, I know. Till today. <laughs> oh, you have. I what you s- have. Go there all the time, don't I? When I'm secret eating. On the way back from <laughs> Greeners. <laughs> ah, true. And the bad news is, no gravy. Really? Really. Why? Because it didn't have any. So I got you, uh, I got you a curry sauce. Okay. Unfortunately, the pub was fully booked for Saturday night, so instead we stayed in and had a Boys Against the Girls Crib Championship. I'll let you make your own mind up on who was victorious. As the weather was decidedly better, and as promised, here's a tour of the campsite. So have you got the washroom and toilet block. Um, ladies were on the other side and uh, here's the gents. Pots and pans washing facility. And there's also um, obviously the boys here, which I'm not going to go in. But uh, Paulie will let us know what that's like. And also we've got the a hose pipe here for, for water. So um, yeah, simple, simple but effective. So Paulie should be coming out in a moment. So what they like? Three city downs, two standy ups and two shops. Yeah. Clean yeah, no, the ladies are the same, it smells so very nice. So um yeah, so we'll take you in the ladies now. So here we have the girls' bathroom. Really clean. Hair dryer, hand dryer, um what's to say really? Not a lot, we've got a shower, two showers and a toilet cube of course. Um, but it's kept very, very clean, it smells very fresh. And that's all you want, isn't it? So we're just entering a part of the campsite called Honeypod Farm, where um, we noticed that they have these honey pods <laughs> and wigwams. So I guess they're sort of like shepherd's huts, Paulie, would you say? But it's just a different design. So I don't know if anyone's staying in them, so I don't want to um, interfere, but we'll have a look. And if we spot anyone, we'll stop. Can't find a way in, Paulie. Oh, there you are, you've got a door at the front. So you've got a fire pit, some chairs and a door. So we'll put a link in the description below just to see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they've got. It looks like they've got, obviously got a fire in their pool, haven't they? And a, a glass dome on the top. So interesting. Not seen anything like that before, have we? So, um, and then down this end, you've got some uh, of the canvas bell tents. And they've got fires in as well, because you can see the chimneys coming at the side. So I bet they're cosy in the winter pool. So, yeah. Yes, I mean, we're away in October. Um, we've had the very wet weather, aren't we, Paul? Today's the first time we've been able to get out, really. Um, but yeah, interesting. There's like an area there that's open. It's got like a microwave and all sorts yeah, in there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And just lovely views over the countryside. If well, not for us because we've got a camper. If yeah. you haven't and yeah. you want to come and spend a night at the Drummer Monkey, um, which yeah, which we would thoroughly recommend. And then we're back by the the shower block, a little way down from the washroom and to, towards our uh, pitch is the. Do you call it the Alson Point, Polly? Yeah. Yeah. So to get rid of all your toilet waste. Um, and it's literally just, uh, just a little toilet. Just a little toilet. Well, I guess there's no flush or anything, is there? No. But, um, but anyway, so that's for your for your ablutions. There's we've calculated. There's approximately 20 pictures here, yeah. and you'll see. Um, obviously, we've got a bear park straight up front, and it's been busy the weekend, doesn't it, Paul? Because so it's Saturday tw- night. Well, there's 20 hookup pictures. Or 20 well, hookup. Well, I would imagine because they have um, they have quite a few festivals in Upton, which is only. 
um, what, five minute drive? Yeah. However long walk. And I'd imagine that come festival season, there'll be people all camped in the middle which wouldn't have hook up. Yeah, true. Yeah. Unfortunately, the festival's been cancelled yeah. this year, haven't they, because of COVID? They have a, a jazz, jazz and blues festival. They have a thing called the Sunshine Festival, which we've covered in previous yes. posts. I'm sure Carol can put a link in. Yes. Oh, I'm getting good at this. You I? are, but also, if you look, there's the next door neighbour's hookup. And we're here, so you can see how uh, how large the pictures are. Yeah, we've, got uh, we've got loads of room, which is a, um, which is great if you've got a big awning and caravan. But you never know who's going to park by you, but you never know who's going to park by you, and you do end up with some strange creatures. Morning, Dev and Steve. Morning. <laughs> Very well. So, yeah, so we'll take a walk down to the other side now because I think there's some facilities behind the pub. So, let's all walk there. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, the wind's picked up again. So, um, here's the site map. It's quite self expansive really, isn't it, Paulie? That's the purpose of the map, really. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so, as you can see, we've had 11 and 12, so they're saying there's 12. Yeah. This looks more than that, don't they? But, um, I think, um, possibly, that some of these, you know, this is here, you know? Oh yeah, these all around the car park here. But I think they might be more Over permanent there. residents, the fact yeah, that they've got like, washing lines up and television areas. And yeah. Like well, it's been perfect for a two nights down at Port, and the pub, which we're going to take you back in again, um, because we've got Sunday lunch, but we had such a fantastic meal on Friday night, didn't we, Paul? Yes. It was um, it was really good. So we thoroughly enjoyed our food, and uh, the service was great. Yeah. A very um, amusing landlady. So we decided there and then that we booked for Sunday lunch. So that's what we're waiting to go in now, aren't we? At twelve yeah. o'clock. Um, if so the clocks hadn't changed, we'd be eating Sunday dinner, right? Eh? Oh yes, the clocks <laughs> went back last <laughs> So yeah, so then there's this other area here. Um, which is part of the car park, but obviously got some recycling and waste bins. And it's got a little beer garden as well, which we haven't been able to use because it's too cold now, but uh, looks lovely. Yeah, that's just what we thought we were talking about the building there. It's obviously a barn, restaurant corporate skills, wedding receptions and functions. So yeah, really, we've been really impressed with this pub and we'll definitely be back. The Drum and Monkey is a great place for a pub stopover. With a fun landlady and excellent pub food, we would thoroughly recommend it. And they also do a great Sunday roast. So if you are passing through Worcestershire, why not give it a try? We would thoroughly recommend it. Thanks for watching. We've got lots of other motorhome vlogs and campsite reviews. Why not watch one of these now?